For many sports fans, March Madness is the most anticipated event of the year. But March just got more exciting, with Newport News Public Schools hosting March Mania at Minchville High School. For the second year, the Family and Community Engagement Team hosted this exciting weekend event for all families to enjoy. On the main court, various high school student teams faced off against adult teams. Both male and female staff were victorious against the combined junior varsity and varsity teams. But the student all-stars finished the day with a hard-fought win over the Newport News Police Department, who love using basketball to build positive relationships across the city. In between games, generous local businesses donated prizes to some excited winners. Meanwhile, in the smaller gym, 150 students participated in a series of age-appropriate basketball clinics. Basketball coaches from various NNPS high schools ran groups of energetic students through advanced drills to sharpen their ball handling skills. But March Mania offered families even more. Educators, along with Minchville's Air Force JROTC cadets, hosted a variety of fun math activities for all grade levels. Each of these math-related games use items that can be found at home, so families can reinforce important math skills anytime. Another great family game that flexes the brain is chess. Volunteers with Hampton Roads Chess Association taught 100 students how to play, many learning for the very first time. And throughout the hallways, community partners and educators offered a range of valuable local resources focused on character building, math mentoring, and mental health. With an amazing collection of sports and educational activities for all ages, 540 people enjoyed everything that March Mania offered this year. Throughout March, Women's History Month honors the remarkable contributions of women to history, culture, and society. Meanwhile, young ladies at Greenwood and Riverside Elementary Schools are paving their own path to success through computer science. Once a week, students at both schools start their morning with Girls Who Code, a fun and engaging club experience for interested third through fifth graders that aims to close the gender gap in the career field of technology. Teachers and instructional technology coaches set up hands-on activities and fun challenges to introduce the young ladies to coding and programming languages. Through these experiences, the girls learn how to problem solve, think creatively, collaborate with others, build confidence by sharing their ideas, and grow as strong leaders. By participating in Girls Who Code, the hope is that many of these young ladies will pursue future careers in STEM fields. But before that day comes, Girls Who Code will help them now as they create strong bonds through sisterhood, learn the basis of computer coding, and make a positive impact on their community and the world. Middle School Volleyball wrapped up its 14th season with four different schools represented at the girls and boys tournaments hosted at Warwick High School. In eight of the last nine seasons, Ella Fitzgerald and Gildersleeve have met in the girls championship game. And one of these teams has been in every tournament over the past 14 seasons. So it was no surprise to see these teams vying for the championship crown again this year. But after settling for runner up the last four seasons, the Gildersleeve Seahawks won this year's girls' championship. This was the second year coaching at Gildersleeve for coach Juan Puentes, who also teaches and coaches at Minchville High. Better known as Coach Lowe to his players, he attributed the team's success to strong serves and crisp passes on offense. Gildersleeve and Ella Fitzgerald are now tied with six volleyball championships each, setting up a dramatic 2025 season. On the boys' court, Crittenden faced off against Washington. The Crittenden Cougars were making their second appearance ever in the championship round, while the Washington Bay Sabres were hoping to reverse last season's outcome where they lost the tournament game to Huntington. Washington's young team won the first set, but Crittenden fought back, forcing a third set. Ultimately, the Washington Bay Sabres prevailed as citywide champions. For adapted physical education specialist, Coach Susan McAuliffe, this was her third season coaching at Washington. 
This year's team didn't have a height advantage over other schools, but they communicated well, developed as strong student leaders, and had a great desire to win as a team. Washington's boys have now earned three tournament wins in the past 14 seasons of middle school volleyball. Fourth graders from Discovery STEM Academy and Newsom Park Elementary visited the Mariners Museum for an exciting trip back in time. The field trip aligned perfectly with the students' exploration of the American Civil War and the historical maritime battle between the USS Monitor and CSS Virginia. The Mariners Museum hosted an ironclad marvels field experience specifically for the students enrolled in each school's STEM-themed magnet programs. The in-depth and engaging educational program tied in with the fourth grade pacing guide and emphasized relevant Virginia standards of learning. Students toured the Mariners Museum's award-winning exhibit, Ironclad Revolution, using a scavenger hunt card to focus their exploration on the Battle of Hampton Roads. By viewing artifacts from the wreck of the USS Monitor, reading historical documents, and listening to personal accounts, the students were fully immersed in learning about a significant moment in American history. As the students further explored the USS Monitor Center, they learned about different careers at a museum, including the job of curator to manage collections, research artifacts, and care for them while they're displayed. Students then dove into a hands-on STEM activity to simulate the various jobs of divers, researchers, and team managers as they explored a cannon retrieved from the monitor's wreck on the ocean floor. The entire learning experience was free for every fourth grader at Discovery STEM Academy and Newsom Park, with Mariner's Museum covering the cost of the educational trip. Newsom Park Elementary celebrated Read Across America Week with a community of readers. Reading specialist Barbara Brinker invited guest readers to visit every grade and classroom. Fourteen excited readers took time to read, including NNPS Superintendent Dr. Michelle Mitchell, city leaders, community partners, retired educators, and a former Newsom Park student. Beyond reading grade-relevant literature, these special guests also shared a little bit about how reading is important in their careers, what they enjoy about reading, and what some of their favorite books are. Barbara Brinker also worked with each grade to combine reading with classroom learning experiences through the theme, Building Literacy Through STEM. Every grade level STEM challenge was introduced by reading a book. The style of each STEM activity varied across grades, since every challenge was designed to align precisely with their grade level content. Through these hands-on and engaging lessons, students worked in teams to blend literacy, STEM, and various content areas to tackle a real-world challenge. By showing students the benefits of becoming a lifelong reader and expanding their scope of how much we can learn from reading, Read Across America Week was an important step to help the Newsom Park Navigators find their own love of reading.